Well, Sac State's commencement ceremonies begin tomorrow, but one of the school's top grads is in danger of being deported. Tonight, we're hearing how she's trying to overcome obstacles and help serve the community. Alalia Baru is graduating magna cum laude from Sacramento State University with a bachelor's degree in sociology. It feels really good. She's an incredible young woman. Dean Diane Heisen says she's at the top of her class. It's a success story. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. And University President Robert Nielsen is awarding her this year's Presidential Medal of Honor. It's really nice that so many people believed in me and nominated me for that. I'm so grateful. But her path to earning a diploma has not been an easy road. Alalia was born in Ethiopia and moved to the U.S. when she was 15. She married an American man, but during a 2014 domestic dispute in Roseville, she shot him and then served four years in state prison for the crime. It's it's nice that I can talk about it now. Uh, it's what I consider one of the darkest moments of my life. She began studying for her degree while behind bars and got help from the school's Project Rebound, which provides mentoring for formerly incarcerated students. They had everything ready, so when I could come out, I could just continue with no time wasted. Her plans now are to become a lawyer. A lot of um, like marginalized people that are not represented properly. She will use her hardships to change lives. But her future in America is uncertain with a federal deportation order against her, which she is appealing. Because of the nature of my conviction, they revoked my green card. She's now asking the governor for a pardon. I hope that I get to remain. I feel like I have proved myself. Here's someone who can contribute and make us better. Her goal now is to become a true American comeback story. I do have the experience to be able to tell that when darkness happens, it's not the end. Now, Alalia is currently studying for the LSATs, hopes to attend UC Davis Law School. Her deportation appeal is going before the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals.